Hello friends, if you are firstly visiting this site, please subscribe this channel and today I am going to tell you about hardware and networking questions. So in that questions, I will tell you some basic tips. It, it will not be create any rocket science or any huge pressure on your mind. So just basic things that I have learned in my experience and uh, today I will share with you. So please don't uh, disconnect this video. Watch until the end. Then and then you will get proper what I have to say. So just uh, I will start this video sessions. Firstly, in networking, uh, if you are entering networking fields, you need to uh, study N plus. What I am saying, the networking plus. What will be covered in networking plus? Basically, you will get knowledge of IP address, cabling, some basic connectors. How connect these cables? That means connections and some pin types. That means after connections, uh, you need to check connectivity between these two things. So this will be covered in the N plus. So definitely it's a very simple uh, just uh, 10 days lectures if you apply for this CCNA course then uh, within a 10 days they will cover your N plus here and N plus is the basic for CCNA what uh, I have to say uh, because if you are perfect in N plus then the part of CCNA will be easy to understand so uh, after that you need uh, your course will be shift to the CCNA what I am seeing the networking side CCN is most important it's the first step so uh, what will cover in CCN basically it's a uh, uh, first chapter will be your uh, IP what I'm seeing N plus is common in CCN but N plus is a separate part if you want to learn just networking types or networking concepts uh, then you need to uh, learn first only N plus but if you want to make a career in a CCN or networking so you need to appear for the CCN so Basically, CCNA will cover your IP addressing subnet, uh, subnet mask, all these things, uh, what is gateway, all these things will be covered in IP address. Other thing is cabling. So, in cabling, there are three types of cable. Firstly, Ethernet, fiber optics and uh, most of uh, things today we are using wireless network. So, Wi-Fi or other wireless routers, uh, this, this will be covered in your uh, cabling or after connectors, uh, uh, lots of connectors are used for the various cables. If I'm, uh, I will talk about uh, Ethernet connectors or uh, fiber optics, uh, lots of cable, they are different types and different connections. So you need to learn about that. Then you need to learn about hub. Hub is a device that you can broadcast your masses to the multiple systems, multiple computers. So definitely, uh, this is uh, today's day. We are not using this hub, but uh, previous day we was using this one. So uh, this is the eliminated part. But you need, you must know what is hub and uh, uh, how it works. So you need to learn about that. Next is bridge. Bridge is the connection between two hubs, and it's monitoring smartly the traffic in between that. Next, you need to learn about routers. Routers is a big concept and most commonly popularly used device in networking because uh, the final stop of uh, networking is router. If you are master in routing, uh, then uh, the career will be easy to make uh, in a networking. But if you don't know how uh, router is work and uh, routing protocols is work and uh, you don't aware about routing configuration, then, then definitely it's quite difficult because lots of people doing CC and they are not aware about routing. Next thing is switching. So switching, switching means we connect multiple computers with one network. Uh, switching, there are various types. Uh, we can use VLAN in switching and other things. So if you start learning CCNA, definitely this will be covered and routing methods. So dynamic, static, these are two common routing and among that uh, RIP2, EIGRP, OFS, PF, this lot of routing types and methods. So this will be covered in that session. So I will not cover entire session in that video, but uh, I am going to tell you some basic tips. Hope uh, you will understand and uh, you are getting this thing. Uh, what I have to say finally, because if you apply for the CCNA, then you must appear for the CCNA global exam, and it's not uh, easy to uh, pass because uh, it has a lot of tough guys. Because if you start uh, learning CCNA. And uh, if you start uh, solving some dumps or some practice, then you you will realize that this exam is having some tough. Uh, lots of people are taking benefits of uh, institute. Uh, they are helping to pass out, but don't take such benefits. Because